Why are rare mutations so important in cancer research and what challenges are people facing? Well, let's see how digital PCR addresses that with the Quant Studio 3D rare mutation analysis solution. So we're here with Dr. Ian Russell from our product management team around digital PCR. Thanks for taking the time to chat with us today. So first off, what is the Quant Studio 3D rare mutation analysis solution? Great question. Thanks, Jeremy, for asking. Um, so the Quant Studio 3D system has been out for about uh, a year now. Right. And we have a whole set of new assays that will support customers who are running uh, rare allele uh, detection on the system. There's also a new software that will be released in order to support the uh, workflow that we've put together. So in this initial round of assays that are going to be released, we have 38 uh, assays for uh, rare cancer mutations that we believe our customers are going to be interested in. Right. And I think that brings up the question too sometimes, like why are those mutations so important and what, what kind of challenges have people been running into uh, in, in the past? Absolutely. So uh, one of the major challenges for these customers who are working on uh, rare somatic mutations is they're either working with uh, highly heterogeneous uh, cell populations and therefore the types of mutations that they're trying to detect are present at, in a minority subpopulation within that larger population and that creates a lot of challenges when you're trying to detect that. So digital PCR uh, has this unique uh, property where because you're partitioning the sample into many thousands of different reactions, you essentially enrich for those rare uh, molecules making it much easier to detect them. And the way we've approached the, the assay design is to use our SNP genotyping assays. Those assays have probes both for the, the mut mutant uh, sequence as well as the wild type sequence, thereby the uh, researcher is able to quantitate both mutant and wild type in the same experiment. And by comparing those two values, then they can come up with a percent ratio of how much mutant is present in the sample that they're looking at. So when it comes to rare mutation uh, detection, what, what separates this from what's sort of out there already in the marketplace? Yeah, um, so the 3D, let me just start with the system itself, has a very simple workflow. Right. Uh, it is a chip-based uh, system, right. meaning that we use so guys right here. exactly yeah. a uh, consumable that is a silicon chip. Uh, it contains 20,000 different independent reaction wells on that chip. Uh, and it's a very simple process to take the sample and partition right. it uh, across those 20,000 different reaction chambers. Uh, the other thing that customers really like is the fact that the chip is completely sealed. So once you've applied the sample, you're going to be uh, running PCR and creating large amounts of amplicon. So it's a benefit to make sure that that amplicon doesn't uh, um, contaminate the surrounding lab environment. Right, so this, right. this does that. Yeah. The assays themselves, that, that's what we're bringing new to the system. Um, as I mentioned uh, in the previous question, they use a dual probe approach. So we can uh, get information both for the mutant sequence as well as the wild type sequence in the same experiment. I don't believe there's uh, too many other uh, solutions out there that, that beyond the, the TACMAN SNP genotyping assays that enable customers to do that at the level of sensitivity that we uh, are able to do it on this system. And um, we've uh, working uh, internally uh, demonstrated these assays are sensitive to 1%, uh, so that would be mm -hmm. one mutant mm -hmm. in uh, 100 total genomes. Uh, and below that uh, in some instances. Thanks again, I really appreciate the time. Absolutely. Thanks for rocking the sample sorcerer hashtag here. Uh, which, by the way, is, would that be your identity if you were to choose one? I don't know, I, you know I'm still trying to identify here, so I, I'll, I see. I'll leave it till the end I'll, of the day. Gotcha, got we got a few more days. Final decision. Yeah. Well, hey, to learn more too about the uh, uh, rare mutation detection analysis solution for the Quant Studio 3D, go to www.lifetechnologies.com forward slash dpcr dash rare mutation. Uh, for more information. So thanks again. Thank you, Jeremy.